Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we are answering uh, Crystal's question. And basically, she was wondering if you could put a GDPR type banner at the bottom of the page so that somebody could click on it and acknowledge that you had cookies and that kind of stuff, but then they could also click on it and it will go away at the end. So that's what we built out here today. So let's just take a look at how this works. So you have all your content on the page right here. And as the page loads, it's going to take that GDPR footer and stick it down here at the bottom. Now, I don't have anything formatted or anything, but um, you get the idea. You just put it down here at the bottom and then all the other content will scroll behind it until such time as you click on one of these buttons down here at the bottom and then the banner goes away. So let me show you real quickly how to build that. And I do mean real quickly because it is quite simple. So what we have here just simply is two sections on this page. And I'll show you that here. So we'll manage these two sections. You're going to see one I call the GDPR footer, which is the black one. And then the other section is just the body of your page. And on this page here, you can really set this up any way you want. But the simplest way to do it is by using buttons. And by using buttons, then we don't have to use any JavaScript at all. We can just actually use built-in functions of click funnels and say that when somebody clicks on the button, that we're going to hide something. So in this case here, I have two buttons. So let me just show you here how I built this one because this one right here is just a standard button. So let's just click on this and we'll open this up, open up the sidebar and we'll come down, we'll grab ourselves a button down here. And it's a little trick I figured out a while back on how to make these things basically invisible. And you would need a little bit of CSS to get rid of that hover function, but I don't have a problem with that hover function if you don't like that. So what we're going to do first, we're going to come into themes and I'm going to click on that because if we don't do this first, it's going to continue to have like a border and a shadow and stuff around the outside. And I don't want to again have to use CSS or anything to get rid of it. So yet let's use what is native to click funnels. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say I want to have a flat button. And when I click on this, you're going to see that slight little edge around the outside is going to disappear. So we're going to say we want a flat button and there it disappeared. Now we're going to go back to our settings. And we're going to leave the text color alone and we're going to turn the background color of the button to the same as the background color of the page. And then of course you can change your text and you can change your font sizes and all that. Then inside of the set action, we're going to click there. We're going to come down here to show hide action. And in this case here, we want to hide something. And what we want to hide is that top section. So you can see here, it just starts to say GDPR. And we're going to click on that. And then that will hide that action. I'm sorry, that will hide that section when we click on the button. And so we will save this. And then let's just preview that page really quickly. So we'll come over, as you come over to it, then it does still have the hover effect, which like I said, I don't have a problem with that. Let somebody know that it's clickable. And so we're going to click that and boom, there it goes away. So now the next thing we need to do and the last thing is how to stick this to the bottom. So we're going to come up here to our CSS and I'm going to turn the, take this comment out of here to turn it back on. So all this is, is the CSS ID selector of this section, the GDPR section. And what we're saying is we're going to position it fixed. So we're going to fix it to a very specific position within the page, within the, I should say, within the viewport itself. So you can say position relative, you can say position absolute. In this case here, position fixed will always put it at a very specific point inside of the viewport. And at this point, we want to say bottom. So bottom zero means put it all the way to the bottom, zero pixels from the bottom of the viewport. And so that's what we do. We got it stuck down here. Let's just say we wanted to say we want it at a uh, hundred pixels from the bottom. We could have it there 100 pixels up from the bottom and the background would still scroll behind it and you can see a little window below it. But in this case here, we just want it to be at zero. So we will say bottom of zero. And then you have to do a Z index of anything greater than one. I just tend to use 999 when I do this because if we don't, what's going to happen is the blue section is going to go up over the top of the black section because whenever you have sections like this, let me just open these back up again. Whenever you have sections, whatever is below will always go up over the top of whatever is above. 
And so because we have this built the other way around. Now, if I were to take this and put this GDPR footer all the way down at the bottom of the page, then it would always be on top and you wouldn't need the Z index. But for me, when I'm building out little headers or footers or stuff like that, I tend to put them at the top of the page and then position them where I want them to be. So however you do that is fine. Uh, but if you do it at the top of the page, you want to make sure you pull it to the front. So you set the Z index of 999. And that is it. That is it. All you got to do is basically create the button Tell it to hide the section and then fix it to the bottom and you are absolutely done. So any questions, let me know.